that a podium, boys? Is that a podium? That's a podium. Yeah, nice job, mate. It's a podium, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> Mother's milk. That's, uh, <laughs> that was cool. I was still, I'm still kind of high, high on it actually. Um, it was kind of a long time coming. I guess like we'd been getting so close the last few weekends and once this tattoo thing came out as well, everyone was talking about it so much. I'm like, guys, we haven't got a podium yet, so just, just chill. But uh, now we did it, so we can finally talk openly about <laughs> <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> it does seem the talk of the paddock, doesn't it? It's a bet that it's, um, it's gone quite far. So it's, I've, I've got, to, I got an artist working on two designs. Well, I kind of gave him like two ideas. I was like, see what you can do with this and then we'll probably choose which one. But uh, Cyril's definitely down for it. He's not, not bailing out. Um, I was trying to encourage him to like get it up here, you know, old school style, but uh, I think he's going to go somewhere, maybe down on the ankle or something, but uh, he is going to do it. So that's, that's the main thing. Has he got to wear a pair of thongs when he walks in the yeah, paddock then no. so he sees it? I'm like, I'm gonna, I'll make sure he gets it somewhere exposed, you know? Does it feel good to be back in that position again? Because I know when you're battling for fourth and fifth, the meaning is not quite the same, is it? You know, it's been a long time for me, so that feeling was, honestly, it felt like the first time all over again. Like, that was awesome. And I think as well, because the team, it's been so long, so it's not like, oh, just another podium for them. It was like, it was huge. So. Everyone had this, I guess, this energy and there was an atmosphere which was really something to be treasured. Um, and I didn't, I didn't honestly sleep much Sunday night because uh, I was just still pumped with adrenaline and like rerunning re the race in my mind. So it was, it was cool. It was a vital podium for Renault. The boss was obviously there, the new boss. When I saw them all standing at the podium, there was more Renault people than there was Mercedes people that had just won the race. You know, it, it's a big deal and, and Especially now, you know, the fight's so close and that it's so intense in this midfield that to get a podium, it's, it's, it's a really big achievement. And I think looking where, you know, myself and where the team were last year, you know, it's, they've, we've come a long way. And I think it's, again, we didn't luck into it. We didn't fluke it, but we've been knocking on the door. So it's, uh, we finally knocked it over. I've just come from having a quick chat with Andreas Seidel in the paddock as well, and they are absolutely ecstatic about getting you in that team. You know, obviously I'm aware that I'm going to be there next year and, and I'm excited for that. But, uh, but right now it's just trying to rag everything I can out of, out of the, the yellow and black car, the Renault, and, and try and make, make everything happen. And I think I'm at a point where it's, you know, I, I feel it a really good balance, you know, with, with experience, maturity, still a, a ton of, you know, aggression and, and let's, say, um, let's say passion for the sport. Well, I think you can definitely see it in your driving because you've lifted your game. Uh, looking ahead to this weekend, would you say you're definitely the third best team we're, we're all we're equal third at the moment you know I, I feel racing point McLaren and, and ourselves we can be it's, it's probably whichever driver puts in a better lap on on Saturday and then maybe whoever gets the best start on Sunday that's going to be you know the guy that finishes up the front so I feel it's so evenly matched and uh, I think that's what's really exciting about the battle right we set you a little task when you were Red Bull we did a little oh sh yeah, I'm kind of scared. I, I want to say I remember, but I'm not sure I remember. You and Max are quite evenly matched. I want you to write down where you think you'll finish and equally where you think he'll finish based on the decision you've made. And in two years time, I'm going to revisit it. Wow. Jeez, Dan, pretty pessimistic. So I was ninth last year, seventh, I predicted. But then fifth, I predicted, so fourth. Not too bad then, is it? I was a bit rude to Max, wasn't I? <laughs> fifth and sixth. I don't think he'll bother, really. I don't think he'll take it personally. <laughs> Unless it's got one, it's like, we don't really care. <laughs> Listen, thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. Cheers.